It is the 10th of February 2022. My name is Ram Magugo. As always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. This is Power Talk. As always, we're coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. But also streaming live through our website. That is at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254. Engage with us. The hashtag, as always, is Power Talk Show at Ram Aguko. And that Y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us. Let us know where you're watching us from and we shall sample your feedback as we continue with this morning conversation. Already we have made a poster on our Facebook platform. That is at Y254. Head over to Facebook, like the page, follow us on Facebook, and ensure that you drop in your comments on the comments section on that particular poster. And today we want to talk about marriage and relationships. It's been a while since we talked about this particular topic here. And we want to talk, uh, 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 we would like to talk about uh, uh, relatives. And the question is, uh, should relatives have a say in your relationship? Should relatives have a say in your relationship? Engage with us, let us know where you're watching us from and uh, what you think about this. Uh, joining me in studio, I am with none other than Pastor Prince Isaac uh, um, Makzaki. He is a lead pastor at the RWEMI church in Ruiru. Can you say a prince? Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you, sir. Nico Tonjo. Apostle Prince. Apostle Prince Isaac C.A.O. Magzaki. Hey. Agenda with the man. <laughs> Also, um, uh, uh, joining us a bit later on is uh, Reverend Humphrey Onzere, who is a senior pastor at uh, Nairobi Dam Pentecostal Church. He shall be joining us in a bit. But for now, let's kick that. Let, let's kick start the, uh, this particular uh, morning conversation right here on uh, Power Talk. Remember, a repeat of this show also airs tonight at 10 p.m. Power Talk starts now. And Apostle Prince, I want to ask you that particular question without further do should relatives be allowed to be part of a relationship and have a say in it yeah what a good question and uh, I remember when we were last in this place uh, mm -hmm. we were talking about the secrets of a successful marriage uh, there is a part that we mentioned also in uh, in regards to relatives mm -hmm. and uh, I would want to say relatives are part of the family. They are part of the union. Mm -hmm. They are part of the family. You cannot do away with them unless otherwise you have no father, no mother. You just, you know, you are an orphan from somewhere, somewhere. But if you are coming from a certain kind of a family background, these relatives will just have to be part mm -hmm. of this marriage. But okay. Okay. it also depends on how they become part of it. Mm -hmm. the, it also depends on how also you are creating room for them to be part of the family. Mm -hmm. You see? So they have to have a say. I always say this, they must have a say from the word go. Mm. When they have a say from the word go, uh, uh, the, the, it, will make, it will make a very nice move mm. with the, the marriage. Mm. It will have a very nice move, mm. especially if they are meaning good mm -hmm. for the family. Mm -hmm. But if they ain't meaning any good for that family, mm. you must be very wise on how you handle them. Because also your wife, if you're a man and you have a wife and you're introducing her to your family, mm. he, she will also need people whom she will be relatives to. And also you as a man, you will be also introduced to a family mm. whom you will be relatives to. So yeah. both sides you'll find you will have relatives mm. and they will either in one way be positive or negative but mm. depending on what you are giving to them. Mm. What are you selling to them? Especially mm. when now you are married. Mm. You understand? Mm. So this is where I take it on and I say mm. they should have a say. Very much. Say. They should have a say. 
in your marriage. But they should not have a command in your marriage. They can have a say, but not a command in your marriage. What do you think from home? What do you think about this particular conversation here? They should have a say, but they should not have command. Mm -hmm. two, two very interesting and particularly uh, uh, chosen and mm. selective words. Mm. They should have a say, mm. but they should not have a command mm. in your relationship. And I want to ask you this, because in this particular uh, conversation, we shall uh, talk in different scopes. One, we shall talk in regards to couples that are uh, uh, planning to get into marriage. Are you planning to get into marriage or to get married? Have your relatives already chipped in in regards to what they want and what they don't want? Have they already chipped in? Do they have a say? Have they told you what they want? You're planning to get into marriage. How do you do it? How do you plan to engage with them? And how do you plan to sieve the good from the bad? Now, that's number one. Number two, we are going to talk about those who are already in marriage. Mm. And it doesn't matter here whether you are uh, uh, still fresh or you've taken time. Mm. Cindy, it doesn't yes. matter. Yes. Because it's still relatives, relatives. Yes. Okay? Yes. So we're going to talk about those who are already in marriage. Mm. How, and, 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 and we want to find out how are you managing it. Mm -hmm. And in this particular conversation, I'll, I'll need you, that person, you are uh, you're married, you're a married man, a married woman, give us your take in regards to this, because the youths need to learn about this. This is why 254. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. Because our youths need to learn about it. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear such kind of comments that, what it was to squeeze how we live. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You need to learn about this. So mm -hmm. teach your youths or your fellow youths about how this particular uh, you know, aspect should be handled. Mm -hmm. And number three, we are going to talk about those who are divorced. Mm -hmm. Separated. Separated. Mm. In a way or two. Yes. Separation could come because of a relative that came in and meddled. Yes. Because you have relatives of wana ingia ndani ya wana ribu kila kitu. Yes. Aono yes. nakuja wana angalia meza. Mm. The in-laws. Yes. With a white <laughs> handkerchief. <laughs> with a, they take handkerchief. I thought yes. they do it with their... Uh, no. Indexing. A white handkerchief. <laughs> so that they may demean you. My and goodness. make you feel that you are not qualified. Relatives. Relatives. Wamesema nakuja kukutembelea Nairobi siku tatu peke yake. Anaka miezi mitatu. Not even miezi. They make that place their home. Magirwa. Yani, this is our thing. This is our person. We have lived with him more than the way you want to live with him. Uh, you know, uh, and so and, 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 and you see, mm. what is interesting about this is that sometimes people really do not um, quite understand how to control mm. relatives yes. because you love them. They are your family. They are mm. your blood. Mm. So I want you to engage with us. Let us know what how you've been handling this. And if you are separated it, because of a relative, tell us your story. How did you manage to uh, go through all that pain and all that anguish and all that anger? How are you, uh, you know, uh, handling yourself as we speak? Mm. And we also want to talk about a bit later on the influence of relatives when it comes to divorce. I never supported that relationship from, from the beginning. Nili Yua. Nili Yua. Nili Yona. Ladies and gentlemen, as, a, as I was saying, guys, it's, go, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot, man. Gonna be hot. It's going to be hot. Nili <laughs> Yua. I never supported him. I never. Ati, ati ao, uh, Nili Yua. Uh, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I was, talk, I was talking even as, as I was buying time because Pastor Humphrey Onzer is all is uh, in studio mm -hmm. this particular Thursday morning. Pastor mm -hmm. Humphrey Karibuzana. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you you're, so much. You're well? Thank you very well. Looking, the world of you are looking sharp. Amazing. White or cream, I have no idea what color well. this is. <laughs> <laughs> this this is encouraging. <laughs> it's quite encouraging. This should never be pink. 
<laughs> you need help if that is the case. <laughs> it's some not relatives thing. have spoiled something. Some relatives have messed up. <laughs> yeah. Some relatives have messed up. That is Pastor Humphrey Amen. Onzere, who is a, a senior pastor at Nairobi Dam Pentecostal Church. Mm. Uh, thank you for finding time, Pastor. Please. It's a pleasure. Always welcome. Mm. Yes. Now, he was saying mm -hmm. before uh, uh, before I, uh, I you came in yeah. that... Uh, Relatives should have a say in your relationship, mm -hmm. but they should not have a command in your relationship. Uh, should relatives have a say in somebody's relationship? Your take. Okay, that's a very good question, sir. That's a very, very good question. I would say in one way or another, you can choose many friends. Mm -hmm. You can choose the colleagues. Mm -hmm. You can choose the people you work with. You can choose uh, the people you want to meet. Mm -hmm. But there's something about relatives mm. that you can never choose a relative. Yeah. You are ordained for relativity. Uh -huh. and that's you, your that's blood. A, yes, it's your blood. Mm. That's a big thing. Mm. And when it comes to that, we have many, many covenants in the world, inclusively a covenant of blood. And that mm -hmm. means when you are covenanted together by blood, mm -hmm. you cannot run away from the same. Mm -hmm. And therefore, relatives will be with you from the day you come here. Yeah. Until mm. the day you live here. That's and they will thing. always they will have always a say. Be there. So you can never avoid them. You, you can never avoid, avoid them. them. Should they have a say now that? Unless happen at Toki. Nevertheless, you see, uh, when it comes to uh, a relationship, mm. it really matters which kind of relationship. But if it's a relationship by the value of marriage, mm. yeah. then that's not just a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's an ordained thing from yes. the time before you were born. Mm. Uh -huh. And you see, marriage is ordained in the heavenlies. Mm. Before you were born, somebody was created for you. Mm -hmm. And therefore, before the relatives came to be, mm. the marriage was also ordained. Yes. Yeah. See, yeah. that's a big thing too. There is, you see... <laughs> <laughs> That's no. a big two. <laughs> uh, uh, on, on, so on Facebook, yes. kuna jamaa mwenye amera pale Facebook, kaina kasama kitu kine funny. Acha, yes. le, le, let me read this one. Yes. This is Imani Stevie, anasema, he posta in a car advertisement ya crusade. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know our poster? Yeah. Uh, in a car advertisement. <laughs> Because we are crusading this yes, thing. Yes, we are crusading this thing. We are, we are, this we are here for a crusade. Yeah, we are here for a crusade. How does our poster look like a crusade? <laughs> <laughs> but we are reaching many. We, we are, are reaching, reaching many for sure. Of people. Yeah. In we this, are we are reaching many. many. Yeah. Yeah. Because we are helping of, families. Yes, we are millions helping families. and hundreds yes. and thousands mm. of families mm. that are stuck in this thing. Mm. of relativity yes, mm. yes and so therefore it is it is just right by saying it looks like a crusade because <laughs> we are reaching them out yes. giving them a solution, a solution out of it. To reach. Mm. <laughs> uh, now i mm. want us to start from mm. the beginning yes and i mentioned we are going to start with the youngsters yes those who want to get into marriage mm. now Somebody has been engaged, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, this particular particular conversation mm. is for those who are serious about relationships. Mm. Yes, yes. Just a, as, as a disclaimer, mm. those are serious. We don't want people who are still joking around, mm. playing around with the, with with with, with the women and men. No, yes. no, that's not. These are serious mm. conversations. Yes. Mm. So there is this youth, a young person, yeah. who wants to get into marriage, mm. but now the relatives are already involved. Mm. Mm. in the whole marriage preparations mm. yes. and, mm. the, and, and, and you see it is at this time that a lot of counseling is given mm. yes. to young couples mm. that are planning to get married. Mm. How should a young couple handle uh, such kind of scenarios where relatives are coming to visit you, everyone is giving you different advices, mm. everyone wants their own thing, everyone wants even the wedding itself to be handled in a particular manner. Mm. Please. Uh, the best because I've gone through the same. Mm -hmm. The best way a young couple would uh, handle such is number one, by turning to God. It doesn't matter which kind of a family they have been raised from. Mm -hmm. Because marriage is marriage despite of whether you are born again uh -huh. or not born again. Mm -hmm. So you are coming from somewhere. Whether you're Christian or Whether not, you're or Christian, not Christian or marriage not Christian, is marriage. marriage is marriage. Mm. Is the bringing of two people into a covenant of blood that makes them one person. Mm. But now as a Christian, now as I address it as a Christian, mm. 
you should turn back to God. You should turn back to God for advice mm. and direction. Mm. Let him lead your passion and affection towards the right lady who you want to get married to. Mm -hmm. Because once he is leading you to that woman that you want to get married to, whether you're a man or a woman, mm -hmm. he leads you to your partner, it means that he will also lead you into a relative family mm -hmm. that will also be conducive and favorable and loving to you. Now this is before you, now, now in that case, it's before you've chosen before who to marry. Before you have chosen, you have said, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Because the conflict comes in before yes. Yes, yes when you ignore the before mm. the aftermath mm -hmm. will just come automatic uh -huh. Uh -huh. That, that, that's very important that's mm. very very important because however much you would like to change a person mm -hmm. you cannot uh, change a person after you yes. only change a person before before the proactive aspect of it is very key. Mm. So if, if yes. they don't change before marriage, yes. leave them alone. Just leave them alone. Do you cut you, off the you, relationship? You don't. It, you it, don't it, cut off the relationship. It, you, you manage. You manage. <laughs> you, 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 you bring it to subjection. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, you bring yes. it to subjection. Uh -huh. Yes. And simply because, you see, uh, there's a notion that says uh, we, 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 we take here and we take here, we put together and mm. it becomes one. Mm. That's a notion. That's a, it, it looks like a principle. Mm. Mm -hmm. But the reality of it is different. The reality of it is like uh, one sober mind has to work it out. Mm. And you uh. see, the sober mind begins with a person. Mm. Who okay. is this person? Mm. So, so um, yeah. I, are you saying in every relationship there must be that person that is mad uh, and the sober one? Uh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Yes, oh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> that is so, why the so, head is only so, with one. Yes, yes. The, the, okay. so the, one, the one who makes it work <laughs> is not the confused it's one. It's not the confused one. The one who <laughs> makes it work is the, the sober, sober one. one. <laughs> let me ask you. Let, let, let me ask you about you. Yes. You're both married. Yes. 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 So uh, it's going to be to make sense if I asked you yes. about this because you're married with kids. Yes. Mm. In your relationship. Mm -hmm. I will say for your toes a bit. <laughs> yes, yes. So who is the sober one and who is the mad one? <laughs> we are both. We no, are both. No, in yours, who is yes. the sober one? I would <laughs> say we are both. We are both sober and, and I can <laughs> also go mad. I can also go mad. And so, boy, so, yes, so, it's the same. Yes. Okay. We okay. are both. Yeah, so uh, in every time <laughs> there's something to be tackled, the sober mind will be needed. Mm. That sober <laughs> mind is what we are looking at right now. Yes. So, so is there somebody ready to be sober mm. before you go into this? Thing? Before now, even you just say yes, I do. Yes, as yes. the man of God is saying, yes. because you see, you see, you can only change things when they are before. Yes. Now, in this and case, learning the person uh -huh. before. Yeah. And so mingle with this person and know them very well mm. before. Before know the kind of people you are being exposed to before mm. and see if your kind of make yes. is sober enough yes. to handle mm. subdue subject mm. have now, authority over them now now let's now bring it closer here mm -hmm. to home mm -hmm. we have a uh, we have an uncle who mm. is putting this man or this lady under pressure yes. with so many things how should a young couple planning not yet married. Not yet they are married. planning. They yes. are engaged. Yes. How do they handle these relatives who are bombarding them with a lot of advice? And of course, not all of them mm. uh, should be taken seriously. Mm -hmm. There are those who will advise you, but uh, it might actually not work out well if you listen mm. to them. Yes, yes, yes. How yes, do you yes. do it? That's the thing. That's the thing. Because uh, whoever you seek advice from, it means you have a particular aspect of uh, uh, reception. Mm. Mm. Because you can't receive from a person you have no uh, uh, ability to partake from. Yes. Yeah. You see, that's a big thing. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And therefore, because of the same, that person who advises mm -hmm. must be at a particular angle of reflecting the you. Mm -hmm. Bringing out the you on the best of who you are. Mm -hmm. If they can advise beyond who you really are, it mm -hmm. means you are under influence. Mm -hmm. And that influence is what we're talking about. Are you under a right influence? How do or you, you are under a wrong influence? How do you gauge mm -hmm. the person who is advising you rightly? Mm -hmm. How do you gauge that? You gauge that person by the princi principles and the precepts of the Bible. 
Mm. If you're born again, that yes, is. Yes, yes. Yeah? That, is, that is, is for those who are born again. Yes, yes, yes. There is nothing, whether you're born again or not, that cannot work without yes. the concept of the Bible. Mm. Because he, God, who authored marriage, marriage and yes. relationship, mm. he is the same whether mm. you are this way or that way. Mm. He is just the same God. Yeah. So you how see? do you change? So <laughs> how do you, do you value this mm. person mm. by the kind of wisdom? Mm. Because the person who instructs you will either construct you or distract you. Oish. So Oish. If, mm. if this person wait, is... That, mm. Wait, please, let's have a moment of silence. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's say that again, Father. Apostle, say that again. That's a good thing. That's, that's, a, good thing. that's a good thing. You, you that's cannot a good just slide thing. it yes. under the rugs. Yes, yes. <laughs> say it again. Yeah, the person you give your ears to, mm. will uh, the instruction he gives you, yeah. the person who instructs you, yeah. will either construct you mm. or distract you. Wow. Yes. So if you heed to this person's wisdom, mm. and this person's wisdom is earthly, yeah is based on the things that are physical yeah. mm -hmm. but not on the eternity of the good thing that you are handling. Yeah. Then you are into a distraction. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if this person is seeing the best out of what he is seeing right now, mm -hmm. that person is constructing you. Yes, yes. And when he is constructing you, he is bringing sobriety. Yes, yes. So you are not going to make a decision out of an emotion, mm -hmm. but you are going to make a decision out of a thinking mind, yes. not of a feeling heart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And that's why we are coming down to which kind of relative and what is the relative saying mm. because among the relatives we have very beautiful amazing relatives yes people who have you uh, biologically tied up together mm. and they're also spiritually tied up together but they are also well gospeled in mm. terms of uh, they have the value of the gospel mm. in the person mm. gospel is good news mm. that means the reflection of uh, who you really are mm. in god yes mm -hmm. you see that's a big thing okay. and because okay. of that mm. if a relative would be there to enhance that mm -hmm. and bring it out yes mm. and make you come to the best that god saw in you mm. i think that's a good relative but he's he constructing he's constructing you, you know? he's building you yes. mm. he's bringing you out mm. but mm. if a relative would be there to always look down to the downfall of who you really are, mm. bring you down, mm -hmm. diminish you. Uh, even that little that you have has the ability to squeeze it mm. and cast it out from you. And then you are no longer yourself, you are somebody else trying to adjust to the influence that you have. I think that's a wrong relative. Mm. So it will be in the church perception or in the worldly perception, but as long as they are not looking at the value of the good, in yes. you the goodness in you now that's a problem when relatives come in yes you you tell them uh, you tell your uncle or your aunt or that person that yes. you want to marry you know you want to get married yes they'll yes. ask you i yes, want yes. to see who they are <laughs> yes. 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 yes yes and i talk about yes yes and i love and i say no 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 yes 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 Yes, yes, yes. Kwa kiwango chako. Kwa kiwango chako. Kwa kiwango chako. Kwa kiwango chako. This is a relative. Yes, this is a relative. What, what do you do? Uh, 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 <laughs> now, on that, that's a very good thing to, on that particular <laughs> angle, it means that relative has a perception, is looking at you from a single lane kind of way. Uh -huh. He is not looking at you, the fullness of who you really are. Mm. Because the single lane kind of perception would be, you're limited to their own understanding, their own perception, and that's just a perception. But now, what do you do? Because that hey, perception, hey, yes, yes, they are going to call your father mm -hmm. or your mother mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. your guide and the person that you're staying with, mm -hmm. that person who is above you, mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll tell them, Usikubali, usiku, they will call you Mtoto. Yes, yes Mtoto. This is what you do mm. in such a point. You also must not also, the lover and yeah. the beloved yeah. must not also too much expect yes. a lot from your uh, relatives. relatives. Exactly. Yeah. Because the decision is coming from you. Yes, you Remember, are the one to make You the are the one marrying this person, mm -hmm. or you are the one dating this person, or loving this person. Mm -hmm. It is not the relatives, per se. Yes. But also you must have a sober mind, a very firm mind, mm -hmm. to protect this lady. Mm -hmm. In fact, relatives come to 
test whether yes you know they, they test whether you can handle the storms after yes yes and i thank god for relatives mm. if they come in that kind of a manner to my picture yes those people are testing the the quality of instruction and wisdom and value, and value that, that is exists. in this woman mm. for this man exactly. and for this man and vice versa yeah. you know and that one is now bringing the sense in the two when mm. they are now the two of them yes, yes. they can now evaluate, evaluate and say and this one we can work with okay. Okay. this, this one, one we cannot yes, work yes. with but now here we have a scenario where yeah. mm. even they go tribal they say Ukioa msichana kutoka huko yeah. ama ukichukua kijana kutoka huko ama they will say achana wajalu achana wakikuyu achana wakani nje achana if you marry from this tribe yes. you, 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 in our family we don't accept it let me tell you sir you mm. see uh, any time we pray and we asking god for a lifting mm. we are simply asking god for somebody's wisdom yeah we are also asking god to allow some people mm. come in your lineage of yes. operation mm. the people who have experienced have mm. had experienced mm. and out of the experience they have built up some wisdom mm. and you see you cannot ignore that mm. so it means from the experiences of the people somebody mm. can learn and mm. say hey that is not a good way to go that mm. is a good way to go mm. but you are the final person to make the decision by mm. the value of who are you after you've seen it all on the other side mm. in the people mm. what they have done how they behaved and stuff like that it comes down to who are you really now the mm. question is yes. should you listen to them yes, yes i know who i, wa I yes. am I know what I want, yeah. and I want that. Now, I, I, and a lady will say, "I want that man. Yes. I, I love him." You see, to to every move of God, to every step that God uses to move a person from one level to another, there is always a person. So you cannot ignore the person. The person must be involved, but by the value of the gospel in you, bringing out the beauty, the grace, the power the goodness within you mm -hmm. if the person is not able to bring out that it means there is a diversion mm -hmm. and that is what the devil loves to capitalize upon. I, I want us to move quickly yes. to let, let me yes. answer that thing yes. Yes. Uh, also just adding on mm -hmm. on what the man of god is saying yes, yes, yes. the bible asks a very good question whose report yeah shall you believe mm. whose, whose, report? Who, whose report shall whose, you believe yes. yes are you now believing the report of others yes from the person you love yes or you're believing god who sent you to that person that you love mm. you know relatives do research, yeah. do research. <laughs> these Listen. people do research let me tell you like the question you have just <laughs> asked they, they ask where is he coming from yes. what tribe yes. Yeah. At times, at times, there is some wisdom in it. Yeah. At times. At some times. At okay. some time. Yeah. And at some but, point when, like the man of God was saying, at some point when this person has the value of the gospel. But now you see, this is a point here that I am also trying to bring on board here. Mm -hmm. They have done their research. Mm -hmm. They have seen that this particular lady used to be like this a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Or this man, alikuwa napenda kufanya hii in Nairobi. Mm. So they, they have done their research, they have seen you on social media, they have seen you on Pana. Yeah. But now you see, now you're different. Yeah. Should you bank on that? Because they are telling you the, the, the truth, that that is who he is. At times don't avoid it. Yeah. At times don't avoid it. The relatives that have done research, they are not doing research because they want your downfall. Some of the relatives wants the best for you. Mm -hmm. And so they always do the research yeah. to make sure that at the end of it, yes. you get a good thing. The best, the is, best is out, of it. out of you. Yeah. But now, when you avoid it, is when Sasa Shida itakuja. Yeah. And they will say, Newangi si chon, yani da 
kwa atirere yani hii kitu tulikwambia mapema lakini wewe ulikuwa na kichwa gumu ukakataa kushukua advice za wasafi unaona unaona sasa una wangalia tu hivi na unalia unalia na kilio hakiwezi kukusaidia unapiga kelele kelele haiwezi kukusaidia because now you are at a place where you can't go back it has already happened and you can't move forward because there's a hindrance you don't know what to do and now you have to go back to trying to dig in the history yes but you see if you would have taken the their way of work their way of perception and then added in the value of who you really are really are that would definitely bring you to another level exactly okay. in the other words we're saying uh, for me to move from this level to another level i god will bring people and uh, i'm very careful when i'm saying this god will bring people on my lineage of operation okay. and when god brings people it is now me to design and fill because the spirit of god is within <coughs> me i would design and say this one yeah. has come is god sent person Mm. So the confusion comes when you are going back to the same thing you are not sober enough to understand mm. that this is god given and this is not god given. I, and I, on, I, another, I, I want on to touch on something else. On another text yes. Yes. is that these people are not born again mm. man of god. Yes. These people are totally they yeah. are not church goers. Oh, so so yes. we are giving an example of that the yes. people are not church going. Yes, yes. They are not we are tackling it all so, around. What do, we, what do they do now? Now, if for somebody because like you're, you're talking about the Bible. Yes. Yes. There is somebody who does not follow who the Bible. Does not That's follow the thing. The Bible. Yes, what yes. do they do? And their marriages are good. Yes. Why? Because number one, maybe they had somebody. Yes. Like the way we are hearing. Yes. You, you, they had somebody who yes. that lady, yes. that lady can make a wife. Yes, yes, yes. We have searched her background mm. and it is something that did not happen now. Yeah. It is biblical. It is even historical in the Bible. Mm. They used to go and find out from yes. where the lady is coming from. Yes. Have they been ever married? Uh -huh. Are yes. they, have they ever aborted? Yeah. Huh? Uh, is she a yeah. Malaya somewhere? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Huh? Is she yeah. a a gangster or here madara mm. so they find out and then they come and tell you who you mm. are sawa mm. so but yeah. somebody who has no background yes, yes. they always tell you wachana na huyo kwanza kirudi yes yes eh wajaluo wanasema nyaka wasome nyaka dalaki yani usome yeye those who do not know i want us to touch on Yes, another thing. Mm. Now, um, quickly, as, as you wrap up on those who are not yet married, and yes. then get into, into the married ones. Yes, yes. Those who are not yet uh, married, now they are getting into that process of making things official. Mm. Now, you see, it is at this time that you're going to see their parents, and their parents are coming to see you. Mm. People are getting to interact, mm. and uh, you are exchanging gifts. Yeah. You're mm. taking cows or whatever, mm. Rorashio. Or whichever name you want to call it, yeah, yeah? Mm. Uh, for Rorashio, uh, Nyombo, whichever thing. Mm. Mm. But now they, this is where it gets messy. Uh, because it, because it, now, it, it goes messy. It goes messy simply because men have a way of doing things. Mm. Yeah. Men have already standards. They have standards of operation. They behave like men. I ah. like it in the Bible when the rich young ruler. Uh, mm -hmm. in the book of Luke chapter number 18 he comes over and says you know what uh, Jesus what must I do uh, uh. to inherit the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and you see that is a what must I do so men have a way of the do's and the don'ts okay that yes. you cannot ignore uh -huh. and uh, on the value of the do's and the don'ts there is something bigger and the bigger thing in this matter is is God coming through the person to be able to bring the reflective ability that the person is able to understand who they really are in the inside. Because if they can't love themselves, mm. then they will not be able to love any other person. Now, if they cannot be able to understand who they really are by uh, the value of the deposits within, mm. they will not be able to appreciate the deposits that other people are bringing on board. Now, now mm. let me ask you, Pastor yes, Amfi, yes. uh, and then I come to you. Mm. You have taken... Uh, You've come, you've organized now in a, if, if you're a church person, you've yeah. organized with your people, yeah. with your pastors, na munapeleka mari. Or you're taking the cows, you, you know, the dowry. But now in this case, you have arrived mm -hmm. and, they, and they have added the, 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 the sum. Yeah. So the one that you've brought is now not enough. Yeah. They're saying add more.
Ehi. Na wanasema bekoli ta kifungu. Eh, <laughs> wanasema tupatie kifungu. <laughs> Tufungue tukupatie msichana ambaye ako ndani. Now they have added more they want another uh, you know they, they want more money yes, yes, yes. utapata wengine wamejipanga kwa laini yeah. ndo utaka wa kwanza uende kwa mwingine yeah. umpate hiyo pesa uende yeah. kwa mwingine yes. now these relatives mm. are now making this process yeah. very harmful for this particular individual mm. wengine wanawacha mm. wengine wao wanarudi nyumbani yeah. na wengine hadi wanakosana and they stop that whole marriage process mm. what should a couple do in the case where relatives mm. get involved in the dowry process you see before every marriage brother there is something called love and love is very key and every man or woman any person involved in love mm. is supposed to fight for their love that means love is greater mm. than anything else you fight you don't have money brother. this is how you do it uh -huh. You don't fight from what you don't have. Mm -hmm. You always fight by what you already have. Uh -huh. That's why even when God wants you to fight, mm -hmm. he deposits deposits within you. Okay. So that you have something to pick from mm -hmm. as you engage. So how do you fight it now? So you go back to the depth of who you really are. What do you want to be in life? Who are you in life? And then you pick out the same value and then there is a value in this woman that you you feeling you have it you you see it working together with the value that is deposited in you with no cash mm. and then you look at the uh, hindrances around you and the things that hinder that and the capability of fighting is rising up from within you saying if you really love her mm. then do it for her so if so they it, if they make more demands yeah find a way of meeting those demands you can that's why i'm saying you can only go back to who you really are okay yes you can go and go back to who you really are i will take it like this yeah and, and do you agree with what he said yes also? okay i also agree i just want to add on kidogo um it has happened to me personally mm. tell us your story <laughs> it has you you come into a dowry negotiation and you know yeah. from the tribe where i married yeah. is is um, they don't allow you to go there to negotiate for marriage yeah. Yeah. they come to neg negotiate for dowry yes. for dowry yeah. yes at your own home they are the ones who come to your they home. are the ones who are coming mm -hmm. you're not allowed to go you are not allowed to go <laughs> so they come so when they see the home is good and yes. they see everything is well and they know now the, va the values of family yes. mm. once they look at everything the dowry negotiation like ours started from <laughs> three million <laughs> man of god you have brought your elders you have brought all the was there and hey, they are what sitting do you do? down a million is there and three million you know, in the lowland in the lowland man dowry is is a gift man yeah <laughs> you mean <laughs> and you, they, they're, they're coming to way the kind of house you stay in yes yeah. if you have a car yes the living room the how is the living room is. and then they'll say who you yes. yeah. and they but, first of all eat kwanza and make sure they are okay <laughs> Very and they, strong enough they, they so also that, consider how they're eating yes, whatever they're eating what is, what is what did you cook yeah, what, what did, did you, you cook, cook? Mm. you get so after that is when now they sit down for mm. dairy my my brother i had put waze you know for the first time they listened and they said have you said 300,000 or 3,000 oh, or 3 million, million. <laughs> what have you said <laughs> <laughs> you see it took them by a shock because they were in the lowland many women have been married without even dowry yes yes and they are living happily and they are living happily mm. and they were like you could have even said one cow <laughs> yes, these yes. people have come with 12 cows one three, three million three relatives yes. relatives is it wickedness Maki, is this wickedness <laughs> Maki, the father the father is not allowed to even sit Mm. where the negotiation is your mm. father the oh. father-in-law mm. my father-in-law he's not allowed to sit where the negotiation the relatives are, are talking on the behalf the relatives are now talking on behalf mm. now because now there is where now i'm coming to mm. now 
when you have made a good rapport with the parents of the lady, mm. the relatives say has no value, mm. has no weight. The parents to you say has the weight mm. more than what the value mm. of the relatives. So, 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 happen to Siri. Happen to Siri. Kwanza kaa karibu na baba na mama in law. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Penda hawa mpaka wakupende. Make them a family. Don't make the relatives. Make mm. the Bafra. family no. of the, the mother and the father. Yeah. Kwanza. Yes, yes. Wafrai. Wachana na hawa ma mm. uncles, na hiu, aunties. Na hiya ufai kwanza when you know that word is coming. Start mapema. Start mapema. Yes, yes, yes. Wakati yes. bado unachumbia ana. Mm. Uh, Start my pay my own, but now mm. if you're born again, go yes. there, mm. visit them, talk to yeah. them, love yeah. them, make them feel mm. you are a son indeed, yes. or a daughter indeed. Yes. Because yes. if you don't do that, yes. they will throw you to the relatives, yes. and you will face them. And boxes. they will use the relatives against you. The relatives. Relatives. Yes. Mm. relatives. <laughs> 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 you see, uh, I, did, did, did you? Uh, I, I don't know um, because cultures are different. Yes, that was yes. when you were in to, to the, to the yes. ladies' culture. Yes, yes. Uh, how was it for you? Did, you, oh. did, did the relatives disturb you when I'm it comes to that? I'm telling you, mine was a little different. Mm -hmm. I say I was so graced for the same. <laughs> <laughs> I was so graced. <laughs> You know, grace is the ability of God that works on your behalf. Yes, so, accordingly. Yes, accordingly. So I was so graced with the same that uh, you went to see when, when, I, when, when, when I went to my, 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 my in-laws, the, the brothers received me so well. The brothers to my wife to now. Your wife. Okay. They uh -huh. took me so well. They came at a place, in a certain uh, place, you know, just to wait for me. And then my brothers were the ones taking me around, going with them in the house and uh, uh, inviting me in. And then when my people began to speak, there was a strong relationship already between me and the in-laws. Mm -hmm. And that had not just begun because we were coming. Mm -hmm. The relationship was already established. Mm -hmm. They had loved me for who I am. Mm -hmm. the, in fact, uh, I, I tried it. I tried it. Uh, there's a time I even tried to say to the to my fiance then, huh. like I don't think this thing is going to work. I'm, I'm feeling like we are making a big mistake. Mm. And uh, I was teasing. You, you wanted uh, yes, to? No, I, I was really just to see is she really serious because oh. you should test love anyway. Yes. Okay. You should test love Must be to tested. find out to yeah. find out is okay. she really in love or she's trying to play around. So I said, you know, currently I have nothing. Mm. I could not even show her what I have, the possessions I have. I told her I have nothing. I'm zero preacher. Mm. Uh, number two, mm. I'm coming from a, a family that is not well off. And mm. uh, number three, mm. I'm here and I think because of who you are in terms of change, mm. we mm. cannot be able to mingle together. Mm. And uh, she talked to the father about it. Ah, <laughs> and she said, well, that's another secret. She yes. talked to the father. Let her talk daddy, to the father. Daddy, this man is like, like this. this. This man is like this. Yes. This man. And the man says, you know what? Mm -hmm. Bring him on. Bring, Bring him, him on. on. Bring him on. That's why I'm saying I'm graced <laughs> for the same. I wish I had somebody <laughs> here. <but I> <laughs> Can we have somebody <laughs> shout out? <laughs> <"Hallelujah." laughs> It so, is the secret, man of God. Mm. It is the secret because yes. the same method mm. is the same method that happened well for us. Mm. My fiancé then, who uh, went and talked to the father and the mother and explained to them and yeah. told them this kind of a man yeah. is this way and this way. Yeah. When, the, when I arrived home, man, you are received like a king until you're yes. like, yes. am I really in the same? Am I still pinching yourself and say, am mm -hmm. I still Apostle Prince Isaac? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> favor when your wife yeah. talks well about you yeah. in their relatives, yeah. there is something that just comes out. Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to <coughs> I want us to take a short break. But <laughs> be, before that, um, after this break, we are now get, going to talk about those who are married. Yes, yes. Mm. Now, relatives mm. and the effect they have to those who are married. Yes. We have finished those who are not yet married and mm. those are planning to get yes. married. Mm. And now you are married. Yeah. But before that, final question about those who are still getting into marriage. Yes. Is it advisable 
that you take somebody that your relative has proposed amekuambia that huyu mwenye uko nayo wachana naye i have someone better it is your relative oh that's a very good one yeah. should they have a say in your relationship and after this break we will now talk about those who are married and whether their, whether their relatives should have a say in a marriage setup mm. and of course later on we'll talk about divorce so yes. keep talking to us the hashtag is a uh, 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 power talk show at mm. ram aguko and at y254 channel i'm already seeing so many comments on, on our facebook platform there head over to facebook y254 is the place to be Co drop a comment on our poster there and i shall sample your feedback after this break we are taking a short break we'll be back in a bit this is power talk why two five four imagine as always it is a pleasure welcome back this is power talk and today we are talking about the effects of relatives in people's relationships have relatives affected your relationship how hard did they hit you and of course you're talking about before marriage during marriage and in cases of divorce now uh today as i mentioned earlier on uh, i'm going to sample your feedback but keep talking to us the hashtag is power talk show at ram aguko and that y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us we've posted a poster on our facebook page and you are asking should relatives have a say in your relationship i'm going to sample a few of your feedback a bit later on i'm um, with the pastor Humphrey onzere who is a senior pastor at nairobi dam pentecostal church and also with apostle prince isaac mczaki who is a lead pastor at rwemi uh, that is in druiru of course uh gentlemen thank you so much uh it is heated welcome no no <laughs> I believe you are making an impact in yes, this, yes, in this yes, conversation. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I can yes. feel it. We, we, we are helping somebody. Yes, yes. You can walk in grace <laughs> and not yeah. make an impact. Ah. <laughs> now, yes. now, I want us to touch finally on, uh, uh, before we get into those who are married, yeah. your relative has told you, Achana huyu, What do you do? Because you have to honor and respect that particular uncle. Pastor Humphrey. You see, uh, talking about the Bible, the Bible speaks of he who finds yeah. a wife. Yeah. Uh, the finding aspect of it has no limitations, mm -hmm. whether it's by the relative or by walking on the streets or by just uh, being anywhere. It's just as like long as it's found. It's found. Yeah. It's like getting. Uh, it's like uh, when you're born, you never choose where to be conceived from. Mm -hmm. You can be conceived from, uh, you know, a place, mm -hmm. in a hotel, uh, in a banana leaf somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue is not about where was it. The issue is about mm -hmm. are you conceived or not. Okay. You see, that's a big thing. Uh -huh. So when it comes to relatives speaking to you about who to marry, mm -hmm. it's coming down to do you have the position of that particular wife in your spirit, mm -hmm. in your heart. Because if a relative would suggest and it works, it's not working because the relative suggested. Yeah. It's working because you found a wife. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really about the channel by which the, the wife was found. Uh -huh. It's by you do you find a wife now what do you do yes do you leave the one you have for the one your relative has proposed because they seemingly know better than you if you dare leave the person that you f you have it means you never found her mm. yeah you never found her okay yeah briefly 30 31 proverbs verse mm. 10 says a prudent wife mm. who can find mm. a prudent a vicious wife mm. her worth is more mm. than rubies who can find finding that point of finding mm. is not being given yeah there is a point of being given and there is a point as a man now we are talking on man mm. as a man finding mm. 
Mm. But now, there is now the point of a woman being given because there are women who are given husbands out here. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. we cannot overlook that fact. Mm. You know? catch up with you. You see? Mm. And if that person does not fit in the right rib of that woman mm. or of that man, mm. Whatever union it is, the Bible says, whatever God has put together, let no man, let no man put asunder. Mm. So, God, men can be used to bring you a wife mm. or a husband, yes. but also God can also lead you into the path. Mm. Like, for example, the example of Vashti and Esther. Mm. Vashti was a wife to the king of Texas, eh? whatever, mm. that powerful name. Texas. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. it's <laughs> you know? <laughs> and Alipoleta Maringo, yeah. the relatives in the kingdom talked to the king mm. and told the king, king, yeah. what is this? You are a king, don't you know that? Mm. King akangalia na venye alikuwa mependa Vashti. Mm. Lakini venye madharao imefanyika because you see a king, a man is to first of all show people their wealth mm -hmm. and then after their wealth they yeah. crown it they to the wife. Yes. 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 But now the wife was not the crown. Mm. So they had to look for the crowning of the wealth of this yes. king. Mm. And they told wacha tukutafutie. Mm. And <laughs> Mordecai being a relative mm. akasikia mm. Akachukua Esther, akamwambia, please, kuna, kuna bahali. Yeah. Na nea kuangalia yeah. na kuamini. Yeah. Wewe, na kuamini. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the many ladies, Esther qualified. Mm. And you see, wow. at times, mm. these people can look at you and see what you deserve. Yes. And you cannot find it, but they know where it, they is. Know where it is. So they can either help you. They can mm -hmm. either help you to find it, or God himself to lead you. Yes. But something must happen. Same yes. question I asked you. Yes. Now you are with somebody, they have told you take someone else. Do you say yes or no? Now that you are with somebody, yes. and they have told you now this one is not good for you, yes. deal with this other one. Uh. God does not love divorce. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't love Aye. separation. Aye. Now. You only do that. You only do that if three things happen. One, I'm a kufa. Mm -hmm. Two, amepatikana kwa usherati mm. ama 3 amekuacha bila sababu ukarudi ukapata nyumba iko empty na wote kumjawana bado amekusaidia kama mjawana bado amekusaidia because <laughs> ametoa shida <laughs> Thank God, Ali. I dodged bullet. Yes, yes, yes. Just get it. Hata usilie. Fakta. I want to ask you this question now. Yes. Let's head over to those who are married. Mm -hmm. We have a couple that is married, whether they are uh, um, a few weeks or years into marriage, mm -hmm. a young couple or an old couple that has taken long in marriage, mm -hmm. I believe that they both get affected by, the, by relatives. Mm -hmm. But yes, now yes. how they handle it is different. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about a couple that now, now mm -hmm. we have shifted gears now. A relative wants to visit you, but your husband does not like that relative mm. but as a wife <laughs> you you must also play your cards right what do you do your mm. husband doesn't like a particular relative but that relative is the one that wants to come visit mm. or your wife doesn't like that particular relative but as a man that is a person that wants to come visit you mm. what do you do what Still, you? before i come to you pass yes on, yes pass on, now listen brothers um i would say this when it comes to marriage, marriage mm. is a union. It's a, it's a covenant too. It's a union. It's a covenant. Yes. It's a, a body that has been mended to fit together, mm -hmm. mingle together, mm -hmm. rhyme together, serve together, mm -hmm. and achieve the purposes of God mm -hmm. while they are still here. Yeah. So there's no marriage in heaven. Mm -hmm. The marriages we have here are not. functioning here mm -hmm. on the earth. Mm -hmm. So what happens is this um, because of the union aspect of it, you fight to keep yourselves together. And the fight means 
sometimes you'll have to let go. That's why even with the union of Christ, we die to who we are. And Christ comes down to where we are. And then we are made together as one and we grow together. So the beauty of a marriage is not when there's a voice that commands, do that, do that, love this, take that, put this off. No, no. There's something about I'm willing to let go of this so that I can fit in here. So should should so who should let go in this case? Is it you Both. as a spouse uh, mm. that should let go and allow the relative to come? Or is it, is it you as a spouse to say that because my, my partner doesn't want this relative mambo yangu na yeye nimekata at this level it is both the couple i mean the the husband and the wife mm -hmm. to think of this what are the values that make our marriage work and then adjust to those values fight for those values mm -hmm. and do whatever they can do to keep those values alive pastor how what should couple be specific pastor what, what should somebody do now, when it comes to doing... Because now, <laughs> the values are there. <laughs> <laughs> now, when it comes to doing, it is a matter of, um, uh, before I got you, what is this I wanted in a woman and what is this I wanted in a man? Now, is this here? If whatever you wanted in a man or a woman is there, then you will fight everything else. Every other voice that comes from within, from without, you will fight it, looking yeah. forward to keeping what was mended together to stand. Do you say that yes. uh, because my partner does not want this, this relative, no, I'm, I'm saying this. I'm saying this because you can adjust to that because mm. you love. This is the aspect of love for your family. This is the aspect of love for your spouse. You can easily say, I think because this hurts mine, mm my my whatever my husband my mm. wife mm. i think i will keep it off for the sake of it but then on the other side the wife would adjust to and say because my husband loves me and these are his people mm. i would surrender okay. so she will love what she never wanted to love good uh -huh. she will give it to what she never wanted to give it simply because these are my people her, his people have become my people mm. when you speak of those things we are not talking about the things you're not talking about magari, nyumba. Mm. You're simply talking about values of life mm. that are good and surrounding this particular person. So when they come to your world, mm. your world begins to reciprocate. And your world says, yes, I will take him or I will take not. Never ever put your wife or your spouse or your husband mm. in a point where they will have to choose between you or the relatives. And the relatives. relatives. Mm. Yes. Never ever, mm. as a married couple, mm -hmm. you work solely, if you're a man, mm. is to protect your husband mm -hmm. and your wife. Mm. And if you're a wife, yours mm. is to solely mm. submit mm. to your husband. It is like that. Never put any Yes. Both husband or wife Just in a spot, your partner, mm, a mm. partner yeah. in a place yeah. where yeah. they have to yeah. choose, choose between should I? It's, not, with my it's not a good place to be. It yes. is not a good, not place. A good place. place. If you make the, if you choose the relative, mm. um, 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 if you choose your wife, um, yes. Um, yes. Um, yes. Um, yes. Um, so what you do, work with your spouse. Mm. It, it must have, it, it must flow naturally from you. You must work with your spouse. The two became one. Mm. And so what you're thinking is what she's thinking. Unless mm. you didn't marry the right person. Mm. But if you married the right person, what you're thinking is what they will be thinking. Exactly. And so you will have a synchrony and an energy that will make even your relatives uh -huh. respect you. You know what? Mm -hmm. This is from experience. Mm. If your wife shows a little of disrespect to the husband, the relatives will, will pick that frequency yes. uh -huh. and will magnify it. Yes. And that's where problems begin. And, yes, where yes. That, and if your husband also has no regard to the wife, yes, yes. Or they, will, the wife. they will pick the, that frequency yes. and they will show it. Yes. Now, so our, what you do as a man uh -huh. or what you do as a, your, as a wife, you make sure that let everything that 
what you guys are doing are in one. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask you this question yes. now. I want us to, to, to talk about relatives now in a, in a different perspective here. We have a couple that is having a problem. Even right. as you speak, I know somebody is going through this. Yes. yes. You're married, but your spouse, Hailewani, does not, they, they're not in tandem with your mother-in-law or your father-in-law. Hailewani, mm. in fact, they don't see eye to eye. Yeah. And the day, if at all you are a man, the mother-in-law mm. comes home. Angalie yeah. nyumba, you know, she mm. will survey the area. Achukue kita, kitamba, uze meza one. It is because you do when, when your partner mm. is not uh, seeing eye to eye with your in-laws. The Bible mm. says very well that when the foundation of the righteous is shaken, mm. what will they do? Mm. It doesn't matter how beautiful the house is, if the foundation is wrong, mm. it will still come down. Mm. So in this case, it means if your father or your mother or your whatever relatives come in your house and do such misbehaviors mm. in front of either your husband or your wife, mm. it means the foundation you set in that house was yes. wrong yes. Yes. from the word go. Mm. And so whatever they will, you will harvest, you are harvesting of a very shaky foundation. Yes. So as a man, you must stand in a position where your mother-in-law or your father-in-law or whatever relative it is, they will come in your house and behave. Man of it's, God, there's something let, me, let, me, mm. let me tell you, let me give you an example. Uh -huh. Let me give you an example. Uh -huh. Uh, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, mm -hmm. has married a very beautiful wife, Her Excellency, the First Lady, mm -hmm. Margaret. Believe you me, you cannot go in that house even if you are a relative mm -hmm. and misbehave. You must be because in. hierarchy and standards have been set. Mm -hmm. Uh, so whenever, yes, yes. whenever mm. a house, even if it is as small as what, uh -huh. if standards, values, and principles have not been set, mm. that house will be we'll hit by we'll storms, yeah. waves, mm. floods, My and God. earthquakes. Yes. My God. Yes. 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 And I'm saying this. The, the glory of a parent is not when you remain protective over your son or your daughter mm. forever. Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, no, no. That's mm. not the glory of a parent. Mm -hmm. A parent is only glorious mm. when he realizes that they put some values in the son mm. or in the daughter mm -hmm. that are able to function when they are not there. And, mm. and, and that can in take him forward. And they can move forward. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So the glory of the parent should be, should, should be at a place where the parent is enjoying watching the son love. Mm. And then w watching wow. the son love by the value of, you know, my son does this mm. to the wife. Mm. She should not feel jealousy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she should enjoy watching the son love. Mm -hmm. And then she, the, the, the father-in-law should not feel like, uh, you know, I, never, I, I wish I married a, a woman like this. Mm -hmm. you, you're eyeing the, 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 yeah, the, the, wife, the wife of your, of your son. son. That, that's, that's not it. Mm -hmm. and, and it has gone to even to an extent <laughs> whereby yeah. the father is, the father is loves and makes the, you know, they meet the daughters. You know? <laughs> and you're like, like, what? So you've gone beyond my mother, and now you are eyeing my wife. My wife. What's happening with you? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? So, so, the, 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 the beauty or the glory of a parent is uh -huh. to say, Oh my God, I mm. raised this son in a in such value. Value, yeah, yeah. values of life mm. that, that they are able to love. Mm. When they see the son playing around with the yes. wife, carrying the wife up, you know, sitting on the lap, you know, bringing the wife to sit on the, on the lap, they should be like, Hallelujah. Yes. Right. They, they should be happy. Like, for, my, for example, yes. for example, my, my, mm. my mother, yeah. in my mother, both my mothers yes, yes. because I always call them my yes, mothers yes. Yes. they love it when they see me call my wife a tutti dollar yeah. a tutti euro bond <laughs> <laughs> a tutti pesa you know, okay. and I will we come are cutting there. each yeah. other and playing yeah. Yeah. I, 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 will, I will come there yes. I will come there yeah. oh my god what's the time <laughs> <laughs> it will be hot today. Yeah. it's going to be hot here yeah. <laughs> now for uh, some yes. but you've not told us yes. what you should do as a partner when your fellow partner so does not see eye to eye with your in-law. So the issue is the parent must lay values and the couple 
must sustain the values to okay. be able to say these are the values that we were given and because these are the values that we were given and we love them, we enjoy them, mm -hmm. we will be able to play our position. So okay. everybody should take their position. If you are a son, be the son. And I would, if, uh, don't be the kid. Uh, don't be the kid, exactly. Mm. Don't be a little kid. Don't there. be a child. Yeah, trying mm. to say, you know, uh, they never did that to me. Mm. That's, that's being childish. But, 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 but you know, this, if, even family gatherings, they, yes. they cannot sit on this in the same room. <laughs> because they are well one. Are well one. What are two so, what two yes, it so, so, what let the wife, You are stupid. Let you are the what? wife take Insults. her position. Let the wife take. And like the man of God said, mm. the wife has a position. The position is identified by the value of subjection, mm. submission. <coughs> the man has a position, and the man has a position called a platform of love. Yes. You, who is loving, mm. must receive back mm. a receptability that says, I submit to this love. This love, yeah. And you see, the, the, there's, it, there's, there's something you've said, and, yes. and I love what you said. And mm. I, I thank God for my father. Yes. My father told me once, mm. uh, actually so many times, that mm. the, the day you find a wife, yeah. ensure that you build a foundation with her and let her know yes. that she must respect your parents wow. and you yourself must respect yes. her parents yes, yes, yes. I, I always remember that and you that. see that mm. parent part of it mm. huh? you see there are others out here we must not be uh, you know just knowing us we are who have been yes. raised by yes. good parents yes. yeah. there are others out here who have no good parents yeah. Yeah. Mm. they are drunkards they are messy they yes. are what yes. they are those they ones that you see before they come mm. and they, do these things they, and be man mm. way and mm. Mm. maybe someone's father is a drunkard you know, you know, yes, yes. the and, son doesn't respect his own yes, yes. Huh. now it brings to it brings this person to a mentor find somebody who can father you Mm. If you don't have a biological father who, who can has father values, you, yes, who yes. has values, mm. Let me find ask. a man who has also gone through marriage yes. and they have the experience with the revelation in let me, grace. Let, let me ask you, mm. as a woman, yeah. if, you, if you know very well that your husband mm. does not see eye to eye with his own parents, what is your role as a woman to see in this particular scenario? It's very easy. Mm. As a ro you, <laughs> you have come as a, as a uniting force. Mm -hmm. You have not come as a separation. Yes, yes. You have come as a uniting force mm -hmm. and as a uniting key. Exactly. So mm -hmm. come into the marriage or into the family yeah. and unite them. Bring I've seen them many people yeah. who mm -hmm. have brought the husbands back to their parents mm -hmm. and wives back so to their is, parents. So it, it is possible. Yes, it yes. is very <coughs> possible. Now, I want us to touch on this. Yeah. Hey, time is, I, I'm told we, we only have... <laughs> Now, now you must take this to the next season two or three <laughs> because you can't hurry us in, some, in something that is so this good. Is like so this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better we don't finish, but we are tackling something Very and they are getting yeah, their yeah. solutions. Mm. So, okay, le le let's not touch on any other thing. Do you watch it to happen? Yes. Now, uh, we shall finish with the, those who are ma still married, yes. but I want us to sample what people are saying on social media. Uh, no, no, Imani Steve. Imani Steve, thank you so much, my brother. Don't, don't be worried. You know, look on the summer to a crusade. We love you, man. Huh? In fact, I, 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 I love your honesty. Well, a multi dreamer uh, uh, bees and some love belongs to, to the two of you. Let relatives discuss about the meal and dressing they should be in on Rorashi or whatever. Mm. <laughs> yes. yes. Huh? Yes. Okay? yes, yes, yes. Mm. Uh, keep Emmanuel Chesumbaya and Asema Mapenzi ni awawili. Mm. Ikipita watu, ikipita hiyo, ni siyasa sasa. Ni community. Yeah, ni siyasa, community. Yeah. <laughs> the community. Yeah, it's a community. Like. <laughs> Odongo, woda sebo, yangoma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People love names. At an assembly watching from Assembo Rarieda, tuned in Kama Kawaida, Pashel uh, uh, Kendi Mudoni, and Asema tuned in Luke Jr. and Asema, it depends whether they should have a say or not, it depends. Mm -hmm. Team Baba Prince and Asema, no way, it is your relationship, not your relative's relationship. That's right. North Banda and Asema, no way, they will not allow their relative to have a say in their relationship. Mm -hmm. A big thanks to each and every person that's tuned in to today's show, Emma, uh, Akena Emma Zeli. 
Kigali Skyline stays lazy Dan da Danny Dan and uh, Akina Partial, Sami, Roro Lee and uh, Kaspain na wengineo. Siyezi sema majina zenyu zote lakini na sante sana for tuning in. We want to uh, bring this conversation to an end and I want to ask um, uh, there is somebody who's saying that he, at he, uh, the relationship are not for the faint-hearted. Right. Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> not for the Can I, I want to give you 20 seconds each. Yes. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Have a final word. Mm -hmm. Within a shortest time possible 20 seconds mm. let me start with you pastor Humphrey. i would say like this number one i would want to say marriage is marriage because of the foundation called love and not conditions based marriage any Wonderful. marriage that is built by the values of conditions you will fail it but the value of love has the ability to exceed and go beyond conditions so you can easily say mm -hmm. i chose this marriage because i love to be here wow yeah. wow first of all you uh, came Prince. as a man or as a woman in the life of this person to complement his life to complete his life not to complicate it any complication comes when there is a third party involved into the love relationship of the two that has become one so, friends out there, whatever place you are, mm. your love is solemnly for your wife and your wife for your husband. Wonderful. Others, achana na ni a community. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is Apostle Prince, mm. uh, lead pastor at uh, RWMI Church in Ruiru, and Reverend uh, Humphrey Onzei, senior pastor at Nairobi Dam Pentecostal Church. Ladies and gentlemen, I know we've not touched on everything because this mm. conversation is so deep. Yeah. It is very deep. We cannot touch on everything, but we have to bring it to a close. A repeat of this show airs again tonight and ten, at 10 p.m. Tell a friend to tell a friend if you know this show is very much educative and unique. Uh, I want us to bring it to a close with a quote. Bring it up, Tim. Oh, so uh, um, there's a delay there, so let me just re read it. And uh, you can tell me if you agree with this. Mm -hmm. yes, quote here. Yes. Mm. All families are different and unique, but they all have one thing in common. And that thing is love. I love that. My name is Ram Maguko. Mm. See you again that. next that Thursday. That is awesome. Huh? Yeah. That's a nice way to end it. Yes. <laughs> so that we may begin it from there. Yes, yes, yes. We can build up from there. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank, Thank you so much you. for tuning in. This yeah. is Power Talk. Yeah.